morning guys um i'm just on a prayer walk this morning around a field which i haven't walked since um i had my little girl sophia so probably about 18 months i haven't walked this um simply because it's not easy to push the buggy around um and as i was going around i was thinking i felt god was saying that you're going to be walking places that seem really familiar but they've changed significantly um, when you when we come out of the season it's not going to go back to normal as you knew normal was but there's going to be a new normal there's going to be something fresh something different and um, God is sifting his church he's sifting the nation and what we go back to after this uh, period is going to be quite different now you might think it's a bit presumptuous talking about going back already um, but I do believe God's going to bring deliverance. I'm, I'm still praying that it will be at Easter time um, so that people will know that Jesus is the Lord. And I'd invite you to pray that with me as well, that at Easter, this will be a remarkable Easter. And people will see that uh, the tide turns, that the Lord's salvation comes. Um, and to encourage you as you pray today, Exodus 15, after God has made a way through this Red Sea, says this. I will sing to the Lord, for he is highly exalted, the horse and its rider. He has hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise him. My Father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his army he has hurled into the sea. The best of Pharaoh's officers are drowned in the Red Sea. The deep waters have covered them. They sank to the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, was majestic in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shattered the, arm, the enemy. In the greatness of your majesty, you threw down those who opposed you. You unleashed your burning anger. It consumed them like stubble. By the blast of your nostrils, the waters piled up. The surging waters stood firm like a wall. The deep waters congealed in the heart of the sea. The enemy boasted, I will pursue. I will overtake them. I will divide the spoils. I will gorge myself on them. I will draw my sword. And my hand will destroy them. But you blew with your breath. And the sea covered them. They sank like lead into the mighty waters. Who among the gods is like you, O God? Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in glory, working wonders? You stretched out your right hand, and the earth swallowed them. In your unfailing love, you will lead the people you have redeemed. In your strength, you will guide them to your holy dwelling. The nations will hear and tremble. Anguish will grip the people of Philistia. The chiefs of Edom will be terrified. The leaders of Moab will be seized with trembling, the people of Canaan will melt away, terror and dread will fall upon them by the power of your arm, they will be as still as a stone, until your people pass by, O Lord, until the people you bought pass by, you will bring them in and plant them on the mountain of your inheritance, the place, O Lord, you made for your dwelling, the sanctuary, O Lord, your hands established, the Lord will reign for ever and ever. When Pharaoh's horses, chariots and horsemen went into the sea, the Lord brought the waters of the sea back over them, but the Israelites walked through the sea on dry ground. Then Miriam the prophetess, Aaron's sister, took a tambourine in her hand, and all the women followed her. With tambourines and dancing, Miriam sang to them, Sing to the Lord, for he is highly exalted, the horse and its rider he has hurled into the sea. Lord God, I thank you that you are highly exalted and you can hold the horse and the rider into the heart of the sea. You can hurl anything that stands against you into the heart of the sea. And I pray that you would do this in the name of Jesus. And that this Easter we would see a Passover like we've never experienced in our lifetime. We would see your salvation. We would see your glory. We'd see a turning of the tide on this coronavirus. And that the nation would see and know that the Lord is mighty. He is a man of war. He is, a, he is a God of war. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that there are angel armies ready to be deployed at the prayers of your saints. Father, may your church pray. May they wake up and pray. Arise, O sleeper. Arise, O sleeper. May we pray. May we be a praying church. 
Let us not miss what you're doing in this in this season. Raise our, our eyes, raise our hearts to the things that are above and not let them not be set on things that are earthly but on the things that are above, the things that you are doing Lord Jesus. Draw our attention to what you are doing and let your your words, your prophecies, your uh, your scripture command what we say, what we think, what we do. In the name of Jesus, may we be your people and yours alone. Glory to God. And may we sing, sing to the Lord, for he is highly exalted, the horse and his rider. He has hurled into the sea. Amen.